Welcome back to Pikmin. It's day three. Going back to the Forest of Hope, just straight up, land in this region, let's go. Impact site, not even a consideration. Last time we got one part and found yellow Pikmin. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it was kind of probably boring to watch. I see that 20 yellow pellet that it will be the first order of agenda on today. Um, yeah, I don't know, when you land in a new region and you get a new Pikmin, you just spend a lot of that time breaking down walls and, uh, you know, getting the Pikmin numbers up. So it's, uh, it's not very exciting, but it's necessary. One thing that Olimar alluded to yesterday that I didn't properly explain is that Yellow Pikmin can be thrown higher, so Red Pikmin would not be able to make such monstrous leaps as this. Good for them. Alright, that's enough. They can carry that back. Uh, let's deposit the rest of Yellows at base real quick. Make sure to stand under the light. And we're just going to take out all of our Red Pikmin. Because I see a Red Bulb Orb in the way. He is in the way of the part we almost got yesterday, the satellite, or the radar dish, or something. So we will have to eliminate him and then carry that back. You can, yes, you can take those stems down, that's fine. And we are just going to uh, mash A on his back, and it should work out. Sorry, there's a tutorial real quick. I've made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. That's too many S's. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. So there you go. You are limited to 100 Pikmin on the field at once. And we took care of the bulb orb cleanly. That's what you'd like to see. Now, is there any more enemies? No. So they should be able to safely carry this radar away back. Very cool. Uh, so yes, once you exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, you still get more Pikmin, as evidenced by that third number in the bottom right. That is my total number of Pikmin. But the 14 Pikmin cannot exist in this world. They will just be deposited inside the onion. Let us pick our yellow Pikmin. We have a big job for them. Uh, they need to collect some bomb rocks so that we can open up more areas. Or just one, I think. But it's still important. Speaking of important. Just glue that right on the side of the ship. There we go. Whimsical radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press Y to view. C zooms in and out. This will surely help me in my search for the remaining parts. I've now recovered 3 out of 30 parts, 10%. I can just find two more. Should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So now we have the radar. You can see Pikmin, big yellow bunch there, red bunch, reds on the wall, the stars are parts. Absolutely useful, very, very good for when you're at the end of the day and you need to pick up some stragglers. You can see exactly where they are. And we'll just get some bombs. That's enough. Or rather, that's all that are in that thing. Tin can is what the words I was trying to look for. It's a bad day for speaking, like most days. Some more bombs in these tin cans. I think this should be enough. Uh, there is a black stone wall near where we found the radar array, and that should need nine bombs to take down. So it's going to require a few passes, but should be able to do it. Speaking of which, I just remember there are probably enemies here, aren't there? Yellow Pikmin can handle them, right? You guys got any enemies in here? You are harmless, but I will kill you nonetheless. Okay. Good, good, good. bombs we got? 14 bombs. That's too many, but it's fine. Get you guys back. So I'll go throw them three at a time and then just separate them again. Get the bombs. Make sure you don't blow up your own Pikmin. That'd be very sad. And that should do it. Very good. Now let's hope there are no enemies in this little area. Because it's the Extraordinary Bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me of its extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret. But just look at it. Extraordinary. Truly. And it appears there are no enemies, so we will just gather our guys on that. Please don't get left behind. Okay. I will forgive you just this once and add you to the squad. As they slowly lumber that over there. These guys are banging away. So, bomb rocks are required to break down stone walls. They are not required to break down these weird webbed walls. 
Uh, but boy, it speeds up the process. So we will just be throwing some bombs there. I don't think we have much... <laughs> that was scary. I don't think we have much else used for bomb locks at the moment. So perfectly fine using them there. Let's carve the way. Let's get our reds back. Because it appears there is some combat that we must do. Not sure how you ended up there, but you're in the squad now. Welcome. The yellows can carry that back. You can fit a captain inside the little hole in the tree, but fitting Pikmin is a different story. And I think I'm just going to wait for the extraordinary bolt to get back. I don't really want to get interrupted by a cutscene here. Get our reds. They're our best fighters. Try and maneuver over this tree. There we go. It's the extraordinary bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have now recovered four out of thirty parts. If I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Well, luckily for you, I see one right over there. I'm gonna be honest, did not want to attract this man's attention. Neither did I want to attract that man's attention. It's really sad to see, but... Please. Please lose interest. He tripped. Okay, it's fine. That was almost a calamity, but we avoided it. You can go back to sleep now. Everything is fine. Please just plop down with your back to me. Dear lord, that was quite scary. But we lost one. Almost lost two. I call that a success. Let's just throw some reds on this guy's back and ruin his entire day and life because it will soon be over. Okay. If you want to take some picking with you, that's fine. Of course, we'll... Sustain the numbers we have lost. Okay. Got this man here. Please die. Okay. I don't think... He, he chewed on him, but he didn't swallow. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blasts can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. Very good. Well, we just cleared all the enemies. So this is a clean shot. To the onion. Get some guys back to refill the numbers we lost. Please carry that back. And... There's another part up there, even. How fortuitous. So we've gotten two parts so far. We're about to get a third. If we can get four parts today, that would be just swell. Unfortunately, that area looks like it requires combat, and all our reds are a little preoccupied. So we're just going to have to kind of follow this back wait for the reds to become available and then we will deal with what lies over there guess in the meantime there's nothing wrong with getting some pellets why not can't have too many pikmin and you know what get some pollen and by pollen i of course mean nectar let's wait for them to get it and then try and swarm the yellows around it but in the meantime we will acquire this nova blaster very nice Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. And we have recovered 5 out of 30 parts, it is 16.6%, increasing the Lolfin's capabilities. Our search can now cover a wider area. Just like that, we're looking a little more ready for space travel. Not quite, but we'll, 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 we'll manage. We'll get there. Alright. You guys finding any uh, nectar? Looks like no. Okay. Yellow, take that back. Reds are bringing corpses back. You know what I'm going to do? I just remembered. I like the yellows don't have much of a purpose. So let's go give them something to do. This little bundle of sticks over here needs some attention. Uh, it's not very important right this second, but we will need to do it eventually. Might as well get on it. One red has joined the fray, that's fine. Multiple reds have joined the fray, this is less fun. Okay, they're gonna work on that and transform that into something, which we will uh, view later. But for now, let's get these reds and deposit them. Get you guys and deposit you just in the safe area so that I don't have to think about you later. And you guys. My noble squad of 45 red Pikmin coming with me. I have a very important job for you. 
Uh, it's it's fighting. It's more fighting. It's always fighting with reds. I um I always imagine red Pikmin to smell quite good. Perhaps like fruit punch. Perhaps like strawberry. But it's something I think about not uncommon that I think Pikmin smell like some kind of fruit. Um, and that's pretty much the end of that thought. I think Pikmin smell good. I will not comment on their taste. As you know, what a few a few too many of you fell down. It's just. Oh, they've done the mysterious thing. I don't need all of you, I just need enough of you to take down that red bulb orb. Um, yeah, I always imagine Pikmin to be quite uh, well-scented, but when you bite into them, perhaps a bit sour, perhaps crunchy even. Uh, and so yeah, onto less macabre topics. Topics even. The yellow Pikmin have finished working on that bridge. So now we can go over to that little area where we will find literally nothing because we cannot do anything. Yeah, we need another bridge built. But we need to cross water for that. And Pikmin and water do not mix. They will drown. They are not good swimmers. Those two Pikmin want to join the squad so desperately, but they cannot, as they have not climbed the cliff. Let's just get a position here and start throwing. Do as much damage as possible before he shakes them off and we keep doing damage so hopefully he doesn't get to eat me. Please, please, please. That's a deathless bulldog. And yes, when the Bulborb shakes Pikmin off, they do occasionally lose their flowers, which is very tragic, but it's fine. And it's the Shock Absorber. This apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this in place. Usually. 37 should be enough. Yeah, it needs 30. We're fine. Some, sometimes one Pikmin has trouble with the assignment. One. Okay. Two were hiding down there. Three, even. My, my. Alright. Can't traverse there because of the water. Not much else to do right now. Check the map real quick. No stragglers. Part over there. Part over there we can't get. And part over there we can't get. Okay. There's really only one area left to do in the Forest of Hope right now. These guys are bugs. Uh, we won't be able to complete the next area. I mean, next area, next section of this area. Uh, yes, hello? Yeah, yeah, no, I'd like you to... Okay, they couldn't tr They couldn't go past the flowers, that's fine. We all have, we all have that, so it's okay. I'm not gonna judge people too harshly for it. You know, we all mess up, we all have mistakes. It's okay. Had my bad days. Get you yellows off the bridge and into safety, please. They, they can fall off the sides of the bridge, even though there is a bit of a railing, so keep an eye on that. I'm very nervous. But we got the Shock Absorber back, so that's good. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experience of typical space flight. And we have now recovered six of the 30 parts. If I can find just six more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Very nice. Okay. So, we got about 25% of the day left. And there's not much we can really do in this area right now because water is such a large hazard. So, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? This just gives me some peace of mind. It's totally unnecessary. You can just leave them in the area. But I will deposit all my yellows. Just to make sure that they are safe and sound. Tucked away in their little onion. And should have 57 total in the field. Yes, they are all in our party. Very nice. Sneak past this guy. I should mention those guys in the air. Uh, they do carry nectar. If you manage to throw a Pikmin at them, you can knock the nectar out. I just haven't really been caring about that. Yeah, so this is a bit of a spooky situation. I kind of want to just crawl around there. It's a box that needs moving and more water. Hmm. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. You know what? Yeah, let's just... <laughs> There's no shame in cutting our losses and just saying be uh... I'm not quite prepared for that yet. So in the meantime, I will not rob you guys of more content. Let's fight another Red Bull Lord. The hypest combat you could ever experience of gnashing A and hoping he doesn't eat any. Very nice. And I'm curious to see how many Pikmin a Red Bull Lord gives. So you'll have them carry that back. I'm totally not filming for time because I can't think of anything else to do. There's the option in the settings to, it's settings, the menu, 
to end the day early. But why end the day early when I can just get more Pikmin? So yeah, I will be doing one in-game day per video, uh, except for special circumstances, which there will be. There will definitely be a video or two where I combine a couple days. That gave us, what was it, 14? That's really, really good. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be one in-game day of video. Video is maybe 15 minutes or longer. It's a good length for them. This is not 2010 YouTube where you can only upload about, like 10 minutes of footage. What a wild time to be alive. 10 minutes of footage is all you can upload. Nowadays you have 24 hour streams of just monstrosities of memes. Uh, it's beautiful but horrible at the same time. The sun is setting a little bit. The bay is winding down. In fact, it is almost sundown. But, not to worry. We have all 77 Pikmin safely in our grasp. No nectar, unfortunately. Perhaps I should have fought that defenseless creature for its nectar. In fact, there may still be time. But come down, come down. We got it. And yes, the game does remember that flowered Pikmin are flowered. If you go to pull Pikmin out of an onion, the flowers will come first. I'm glad I still have so much to explain about uh, Pikmin in general, because once we get to the part of the game where I stop explaining things, we're gonna have to rely on such commentary as I think Pikmin smell like fruits to carry us, and that, that those are gonna be some dark days, let me tell you. Although speaking of dark days, it's uh, the sun's getting real low right now. Can't think of much else to do, so I will wait out these three seconds. And I was gonna say pray that there are no Pikmin out there, but I mean, I'm not gonna fabricate tension for the sake of content. I'm fine. We lost like three Pikmin today to combat, which is pretty good considering we fought uh, about three red bulborbs, and we got five ship parts in one day. So, you know, le yesterday was the bad day because we got one part and yellow Pikmin, and I was just reading a lot of text. But today was a good day. We got five ship parts. We did combat. There was excitement. We lost Pikmin. We unlocked a new area. Everything is... it's all coming together. And once again, the denizens of the Forest of Hope will go hungry. They scream into the air. I will not return anytime soon. It has been three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. Uh, now? Th these creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls. Already done. And open up new regions. Done. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X, or when I grab one for a moment by holding A. Useful information that we already knew. Two Pikmin lost in battle. Very sad. But we sprouted 74, so actually not that sad at all. And so yeah, we have 104 red Pikmin and 62 yellows. Very, very good population. You bet I'm gonna save the game. You bet I'm not gonna touch the memory card or the power button. Save complete. And now we have... A new area unlocked. The forest naval. Lots of forests in this game. Nine entire parts in this region. And so next time, we will not be visiting the Forest of Hope. Rather, we will be visiting its damp, disgusting naval. I apologize for putting that image in your brains, but that's all for this video. See you next time we go to day four. And remember to file your taxes on time, lest you go to jail. Okay, goodbye.